Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this very elegant Christmas card. So the letters that you, well, the image that you see in front of you is made with the letters and it reads Merry Xmas. Now this is not my image. This was on a Christmas card that I received about two years ago. And I liked it so much that I photocopied the card and then I didn't want to copy exactly what was on the card, so I simplified the lettering a little bit to kind of make it my own, and um, this is what I came up with. So I took a piece of uh, copier paper and traced the image on there, and then I took a pencil and I scribbled on the back of the copier paper, and I've taped it to a piece of Canson watercolor paper. And as I trace over it with my pen, the, tra the uh, graphite will transfer onto the watercolor paper and give me a good guide of the image to trace with my gold acrylic paint pen. Now, if you want to do this on photo paper, you can absolutely do it on photo paper and you can use Posca pens, fine liners, um, acrylic paint pens. Um, if you want to do it on watercolor paper, you can use, again, as I'm using, the acrylic paint pens, you can use watercolor. There's so many ways that you can do this and make it your own. So now I'm just flipping the paper up to make sure that I've traced all the lines. And I did attempt this before the video to see how it looked and I wasn't so crazy about it, but I'll explain more later. But here I'm showing you where the letters are in case you can't make it out. But it reads Merry Xmas. So now I'm going to take a gold acrylic paint pen and I'm going to trace again. This is a really easy card to make, and I think that it just looks so pretty. I will provide you with a line drawing that you can either screenshot at the end of the video. I'll post a picture of the finished painting and um, a line drawing so you can pause the video and take a screenshot and then print it out. I will also provide a line drawing on my Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials, so you can check it out there as well. And don't forget to check the description box for a list of all the products used. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll always get back to you. And please consider joining our Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials, where you can post your versions of the paintings and tutorials learned on this channel. So here are my first two attempts. The one on the left was traced and then I used a black fine liner and I outlined all the letters because I didn't think that you could make out the letters very well. And then on the left I attempted to freehand it and that didn't turn out so well. It didn't look like a Christmas tree at all. So for this one what I decided to do was to use a fine liner and this is a zero one. It's a um, a micron pen. And I'm just outlining the gold on one side of the letters. And I like the way that this one turned out. And again, if you stick around until the end of the video, you'll see that once I was finished, I trimmed the painting, I added a gold border around it, and then I took the black fine, fine liner and I outlined the gold border as well. And I also added some ornaments just because I thought it needed a little bit of something more. So this is really easy and you don't have to use gold. I think this would look really pretty in red or green or even silver. So I hope that you give it a try and that you share it with me. I'd love to see what you come up with. In the background, I'm sure you hear my dishwasher. Sorry about that. <laughs> so you can see I'm just doing the left side of the letters and I think that it made the letters stand out a little bit more 
tracing all the letters all the way around I think was a bit too much. I wanted to keep it very simple and elegant. Now I wanted to add a topper to the tray. On the first one that I did, I made a star, but it wasn't perfect. So I decided that on this one, I was just going to add a circle. Keep it simple. I kept a little white space to make a, a little highlight in my ornament. And then I just outlined one side. So stick around till the end of the video. This is a short one for a picture of the finished painting. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!